I'm trying to connect the dots, but y'all think they dipping dots. But you can't eat these dots because they poison. <laughs> they doing all this stuff for these immigrants. We talking about 500,000 jobs for the Indians in Asia. They didn't cast one vote. I'm trying to connect the dots, but y'all think they dipping dots. And that's y'all problem. That's our problem. We think it's a game. Except nobody's playing with us. They talking about 500,000 jobs for the Indians in Asia. I'm gonna ask y'all a question. How many times did the Indians protest? How many times did the Indians march? How many votes did the Indians cast? How long did they stand in line? How long did they go out there to get people to vote? What kind of campaigns did they run? What did the Indians do to deserve 500,000 jobs over here? And y'all don't think it's a setup. Y'all don't think it's a game. They promising the Indians 500,000 jobs immediately. So you know what that means. If it's 500,000 jobs, it got to be 500,000 houses, somewhere to stay. 500,000 ways to start a business. Come on, what are we talking about? And y'all don't think it's a setup? I told you all, they don't have to do anything for us. When you don't demand something for your vote, that you already lost. We live in a two-party system and we give all our power and leverage to one party, we automatically lose. The Democrats tell you, we're not gonna do anything for you and you can't go to the Republicans because they're racist. So what are they really telling you in essence? They're telling you that you get nothing. The Democrats say, we're not gonna do anything for black people. And if you go to the Republicans, you will sell out. So what are we to do? What are they telling you? They are telling you, you get nothing. And you all keep running around here playing, faking it's a game, except ain't nobody playing with us. I'm trying to connect the dots for y'all, but they're not dipping dots. The Indians ain't cast one vote. The Indians ain't cast one vote and they already got 500,000 jobs, 500,000 homes, 500,000 businesses waiting specifically for them. Let's really be clear about that. So I'm not going to sit here and say I'm going to do something that's only going to benefit black people. No. Now I wonder why the Indians getting this. Oh, maybe because the vice president is Indian. Maybe because the vice president is Indian. Indian from Asia. Maybe. Because yes. you are Indian. Yes. yes. Indian. Okay, and I don't know that everybody knows that. It's amazing how many people did not know she was of Indian origin. I am so proud you're an Indian Kamala. Yeah. People do say that all the time. They're like, did you know? And I'm like, yeah. They're talking about 11 million jobs for immigrants. Vice President Biden, do you support reparations? Look, I mean, since I haven't spoken on this, got a chance. Um, number one, the reason we're the country we are is because of immigration. We've been able to cherry pick the best from every single continent. The people who come here have determination, resilience. They are ready to stand up and work like the devil. We have 24 out of our 100 children in our school today is Hispanic. The idea that we are going to walk away and not provide every opportunity for them is not only stupid and immoral, but it's bad for America. They are the future of America, and we should invest in them. Everybody will benefit from it, every single American. And you should get used to it. This is a nation of immigrants. That's who we are. That's why we're who we are. That's what makes us different, and we should invest. I keep telling you all, it's a setup. They got 500,000 jobs waiting for the Indians immediately, but they'll tell you they can't do anything for black people. Joe Biden said the only way black folks get reparations is if Native Americans get more reparations. Ain't that cold? Joe Biden said the only way black people get reparations is if Native Americans get more reparations. Guess what he's telling you? He's telling you no. They just gave half of the state of Oklahoma to Native Americans. 
They just gave half of the state of Oklahoma to Native Americans. He's talking about them getting more before we get anything. It's a cold game. It's a cold game. And many white people bought their tribal memberships. That's why Native Americans look so different now. So Biden said some things, and I want to read it. It depends on what it was. And he's talking about reparations. And will it include Native Americans as well? This was his statement about reparations that he made as he started to look at some of these things that people have played out. I still stand by my position that Sheila Jackson Lee largely doesn't understand reparations as I don't know if it's, it's because she's trying to set it up where all black Americans receive. She's not dealing with reparations. And then she continuously defers that it's not refers to it as not being cash. I don't understand how somebody Jamaican is telling us as ADOS that we won't get large cash payments. They got 500,000 jobs waiting specifically for Indians and they ain't shed no blood, sweat, nor tears. They got 500,000 jobs waiting specifically for some people that did not put them in office. For some people that did not shed any blood, sweat, and tears. On the other side of the fence, you have Robert Johnson, Bob Johnson coming out, and he done, his numbers are wrong. And he's talking about hundreds of thousand dollars to each black person in, in America, regardless of, of origin because of his numbers, and uh, meaning 42 million African Americans. There aren't 42 million African Americans in America. We're going to have this discussion and pull out the teeth, but before we have that discussion, we got to deal with the fact that Joe Biden goes on this thing and says it depends on what, will, what it was and will it include Native Americans. Nobody asked whether ADOS black Americans that went through slavery and Jim Crow, that's their lineage in this country, locked out through redlining, locked down through slavery, were going to be included in the reservations and the casinos for Native Americans. And we didn't challenge that. I have no idea if this man even understands the disrespect of it all, nor do I want to uh, even understand who told him to say that. How can the immigrants come over here and get more than we get? And y'all not be offended. They got y'all out here marching and fighting and protesting for somebody to come over here and get what you supposed to have. Can't nobody black go around the world anywhere and set up shop illegally, nowhere. You can't do it. There's nowhere y'all can go where they got 500,000 jobs waiting for us. Where they got 500,000 homes waiting for us. Where they got 500,000 businesses waiting for us. There is no country that's waiting for 11 million of us to go over there to set up shop. Nobody. And y'all don't think it's a game. And I keep telling you all, you can't demand something to somebody after you done cast your vote. You can't. Once you give your vote, that's it. There's no demands to be made. None. I keep telling you all this, and y'all think it's a game, except ain't nobody playing with us. I'm trying to connect the dots for you all, but you all think it's dipping dots. They telling y'all to vote, vote, vote. But what's your status in the country? If you black, you don't have a status. You ask anybody white what their origin is, they can tell you. They gonna name a country. You ask anybody white what their origin is, they're going to tie it back to a country. You ask us where we're from, all we can do is say something ambiguous like Africa. What's your status though? Y'all talking about Africa, they can't even find any slave ships. Y'all are talking about Africa and they can't even find any slave ships. Wake up. It's folks looking 30 or 40 years just to find one slave ship. They only got five on record. What are we talking about? They played you. They played us. They played me. They took the land from us and then made us build the country. You understand that? They took the land from us, this country, and then they made us build a nation on the land. And then told us we don't get anything. All we got was the leftovers and we called it soul food. All the throwaway stuff, we made it into soul food. And soul food ended up killing us and y'all don't think it's a game? Y'all don't think it's a game. I keep telling you all, you don't have a flag. What's your status? Black people should be the most patriotic people in the country. This is our country. But they tell you, if you're patriotic, you will sell out. How? Well, this is your land, and you built the country. And then you got these black folks tiptoeing around, trying to get in the house, talking about it's for free. Black folks want something for free. How is it free when we built the country? This is the brainwashing they've done to us, and they took the land from us. Come on, man. 
They started giving the land back, the 40 acres and the mule, and then snatched that back again. They had a chance to do what's right. They want you to vote, but don't want to give you a legal status. Do you understand that? They want you to vote, but don't want to give you a legal status. Black is not a legal status. It's a, it's a color or the absence of a color. It's not a person, it's not a people. They want you to vote, but what's your status? Where's your flag? What's the name of your nation? Oh, you from Africa, where? What tribe? I'm from Africa, what tribe? What nation? Who separated the countries in Africa? It wasn't Africans. Who named Africa? It wasn't Africans. What are we talking about? We're the only group of people on the planet who don't know where they're from. We're the only group of people on the planet who don't know where they're from. And we got the most influence on the planet with nothing. Yeah, us. I keep telling you all, we are the missing piece. We are the missing piece. They looking for the missing link. The missing link is us. We the missing link. When we realize who we are, this whole thing is shut down. When we realize who we are, this whole thing is shut down. I hear that someone wants to give black Americans African-American people a holiday. They want to make supposedly Juneteenth the holiday. Okay, I'll tell you what you can do better than that. And I know Joe Biden will do it. Give us reparations. <laughs> for the work that we've all done for the last 400 years. Unpaid. I don't have an issue with immigration. I have an issue with people not getting in line. And I have an issue with America not paying her debts to us. America owes us a lot and has not paid at all. So it's kind of a slap in the face for America to start offering things to people who have not contributed to this country. And this is what it boils down to. These immigrants have not contributed to this country like we have. We have built the country and have been subject to terrible things in this country, including bondage and chattel slavery. And the repayment for our suffering and for the work we've done is for other immigrants to come over here and receive what we should have. Ta-Nehisi Coates firing back. For a century after the Civil War, black people were subjected to a relentless campaign of terror, a campaign that extended well into the lifetime of Majority Leader McConnell. This debate coming on the same day Vice President Joe Biden drew fire from fellow Democrats for his comments at a fundraiser last night. Recalling a bygone era of civility in Washington, Biden spoke of two segregationist senators. Immigrants can come over here and pay their taxes and stay. There is no country out there that is welcoming us to go there and reap the benefits of a citizen and not be a citizen. Herman Talmadge of Georgia, one of the meanest guys I ever knew. You go down the list of all these guys. Well, guess what? At least there was some civility. We got things done. And Biden recalling the white supremacist Senator James O. Eastland of Mississippi. He never called me boy. He always called me son. Several of Biden's rivals in the campaign stunned by his comments, including Senator Kamala Harris. To coddle the reputations of segregationists, of people who, if they had their way, I would literally not be standing here as a member of the United States Senate, is, I think, um, it's just, it's misinformed and it's wrong. None of the countries this administration is planning on dealing with welcomes immigration. None of the countries this administration plans on dealing with the most welcomes immigration. Senator Obama, your position on reparations? I, I, I think the reparations we need uh, right here in South Carolina is investment, for example, in our schools. Uh, yeah, I, I did a... I, uh... The problem is, we think it's a game, except no one is playing with us. I'm trying to connect the dots, but we think they are dipping dots. Let's really be clear about that. So I'm not going to sit here and say I'm going to do something that's only going to benefit black people. No. Wait for free blast. Get money. Come.